All right. So yeah, good morning class. Uh welcome to our another um lecture video. Okay? Then if you notice uh recently uh previously I'm using the the StreamYard no instead of using the the Zoom, no? Kasi um using the Zoom uh it's no a little bit stressful. No kasi you know at the end of 40 minutes now we need to, to stop the meeting and re-enter again and uh, also we need to wait now for the students to enter uh the meeting room so sayang yung time that's why i uh, i'm using no the stream yard instead and the other reason is because me medyo mas mababa no or mababa yung mb consumption of just watching uh no the lecture video no on the this stream yard or in this youtube okay so yeah for today's lecture now I'm going to discuss with you the steps of the printing process. Okay. Um, now previously we are able to discuss the common uh, printing methods that are being used in the, the print production. Okay, in which those uh, different printing methods, now it includes the, the digital uh, printing, um, the screen printing, uh, plexography, no offset lithography. Uh, transfer printing, um, LED UV printing. We also have the three D printing and actually a lot more now of, of printing methods now available. Okay, for today's lecture, now we're going to continue our discussion by giving you the steps of the printing process. Okay. Okay. All right. No, so same with uh, video production, no, in which we have the different no stages. Diba sa video production we discuss meron pala siyang um iba't ibang stages, no? Na before akala natin it's just about the the filming and the shooting and the editing. No, which is we found find out uh, meron tayong free production, meron tayong production and we have the post production. Okay? Ganun din dito sa print media or dito sa print production. Okay, na kung saan each printing process is divided into three steps or into three stages. Okay, so as you can see here on the illustration, we have the pre-press, we have the press, and we have the post-press. No? no, na kung saan, dito pa lang, it, it is already describing you know, or it is already uh, giving us you know, the basic explanation for each process. No, on the pre-press, no, it is that uh, it is basically the transfer, no, or the preparation of the artwork, no, of the 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 design that we wanted to print to to the plates. Okay. Then after that, we have the press. Okay. It is uh, the actual printing on paper, which is at the uh, at the final process, naman. No, it is the finishing and the final touches on the printed material. No, and that is the post press. Okay, but let's discuss each processes. Okay, so let's discuss each steps. Okay, <clears throat> so let's start with pre press. Yeah. Okay, no. Uh, Pre-press is the terminology used to define processes that happens before printing and finishing. Okay, so itong pre-press, uh, the pre-press is the term no used in the printing and uh, publishing industries now for the processes and procedures no that occur between the creation of a print layout and the final printing. Okay. Um. Th this procedure, no, it includes the the manufacture of a printing plate, no, uh, image carrier, no, and and the the red, uh, which is ready for mounting on a printing press, no, as well as the adjustment of images, no, the photographs or text, no, or the the creation of the high quality, uh, print file. Okay. Now this term, uh. The, the pre-press, it refers to the process of creating a print layout nga, no, and performing all the, the steps no, that will lead to the final print project no, in which, uh, let's say, it will lead us na meron na tayong na-produce no, or, or uh, meron na tayong uh, printed, no, na, na printed output or printed material. Okay? So basically, 
itong uh, pre-press na ito, no, this is this is the preparation stage. Okay? Let's say a digital press, uh, let's say yung sa digital press machine, no, it accepts information, no, electronically through let's the the PDF, no, and and transforms the data on onto a printing file, uh, a printing plate rather, no, in which on our previous lessons, no, while watching those videos, no, to show us Uh, how the different printing methods um, work, no? Meron tayong tinatawag na, na mga printing plate, okay? In which the details uh, that we need to print no, are being transferred in those uh, printing plates, no? And and from that that printing plates, no, the details or the informations or the designs that we wanted to print, no, or what we of what you need to print are ultimately used, no, to transfer your files and to paper, no, while on press. Okay? Na kung saan um, itong pre-press na ito, no, it is important kasi let's say you are uh, you are an experience no, or you have an experience or let's say an expert na sa, sa pre-press no, or you have an experience with, uh, with uh, the pre-press, pre-press team. No, it can be uh, a significant time saver. Okay? Kasi there are a lot of preparations Uh, pa no there are a lot of preparations pa na nakailangan gawin especially if if you use um a graphic designer let's say nag ka ng graphic designer no to create an artwork no in the correct format okay kasi for example no let's say you you need a uh, different file sizes or uh, different output needs no or different file types kasi di ba maraming format ang kailangan mo bang i-prepare no it can slow down Uh, the printing process, lalo na kung maramihan no, yung piniprint nyo. Okay? Lalo na, let's say you are working on a printing press na maramihan talaga ang kanilang uh, kailangang i-print. Okay? No, which is kailangan dapat mabilis mong ma-process ang bawat printing na gagawin mo. Okay? But utilizing a trained uh, pre-press technician or individual na talagang uh, na-trained siya or sanay siya or experience siya on the, the pre-press process So it will result to an efficient file output quickly and efficiently. No kasi 'di ba the other printing methods it requires na kailangan gumawa muna or mag-layout muna ng mga ng mga printing plates or gumawa muna ng mga printing plates. Okay? So which is on the the digital printing method no napaka-basic lang ng steps in in pre-press. Now let's say magpi-print ka using digital printing na as soon as you submit the files to a printer No, or to a computer para ipaprint, no, doon nag-start or doon nag-start or doon nagsisimula ang tinatawag natin na pre-press uh, process or pre, uh, pre-press, pre-press um, stage. Okay? Which is, no, the, it, which is the, the first step nga in preparing the data or uh, for transmission no, na kung saan most files, uh, let's say, come in in Adobe in, uh, in design formats or high resolution PDFs okay now the prepress ito yung magva-validate ng lahat ng data no to make sure that it meets the proper production requirements no let's say kung okay ba yung format okay ba yung file uh, uh, bago i-print no something like that okay uh, let's say in the the, uh, the screen printing naman no most of the prepress steps no is the preparations um, needed for the let's say for the mesh screen or for the stencils no uh, before you actually print the designs okay hold on okay um speaking of designs no this is um no yung yung kinoconsider din talaga in the in the prepress okay which is it includes uh, the preparation of the data no or the details or na nakapi edit na ba yung mga nakasulat tama ba yung mga spelling na nasa proper nasa proper placement ba um, it, it it also make sure that yung layout no, is done by using one of the the principal uh, computer design applications no such as adobe indesign or or quark uh, express no sometimes also people take advantage of, of tools no like microsoft office or or publisher no and there are, there are also a lot of of uh, extensive range no, of specialized applications available that we can use. Okay? Uh, pre-press, 
also includes image retouching no kung kailangan kung kailangan bang i-retouch pa no? or or edit or i-photoshop no yung mga image which is Adobe Photoshop is the best application no available in the market no so basically that is the the prepress okay prepress is everything that happens before your product goes to the actual printing operations okay and ito yung one of the most essential parts of the printing process kasi it makes sure na bago i-print yung final na file uh, yung final file na talaga no na hindi na kailangang edit or wala nang kailangang i-revise or there are no corrections needed no let's say kasi let's say pumalpak yung prepress no may may needs pa pa lang i-edit no or let's say may maling spelling no paano yung pa, paano kung nakapag-print ka na ng marami no, and because of the errors no you need to reject no sayang yung paper no sayang yung ink okay so itong prepress na ito no it will make sure that your project uh, to be printed no starts and ends at the right way no saving your valuable time and money okay so that is the prepress okay let's proceed with the press yan Press ha, press, hindi depress. Okay, uh, press. Okay, this is now, uh, this this press process, no, this refers to the actual printing operations. Okay, and during the, uh, the printing, no, uh, precision is crucial to both the quality, no, and the, the timely uh, delivery, no, dito sa, sa stage na to. Okay, so that the material that you need to print uh only go to the actual printing operations na after they they pass no or after nila makapasa sa let's say quality check no ng uh, or quality assurance no ng prepress and the plate uh making uh stages okay then there are uh several different kinds of printing process no and it depends um on the printing methods, no, nakadepende siya sa printing methods that you will use, of course. No, and the, cho uh, the choice of process on the kind of the job no, na kailangan gawin on a particular printing method na nagagamitin mo. Okay? So which is uh, the different, kasi diba yung the different machine printers, may specialize siya. No? May specialize in one particular printing process. Okay? Pero most of the machines are computer controlled. No, which is, no, a machine printer's tasks can include the following. No, so these are the tasks, no, na included in the the press, in press process. Okay, so the first one is preparing. No, uh, preparing the paper or card, no, so that it runs smoothly. Uh, through the machine. Kasi syempre, di ba, it depends upon the, the output na kailangan natin gawin. No? May, mga, may mga paper na kailangan. This is the paper that we need to use. Okay? So that is the preparing, no? preparing the, the, the paper. Okay? Next one is positioning. Positioning the, the printing plates in the press no? and taking uh, trial prints to ensure that everything is correctly placed no syempre pag let's say maramihan ang ipiprint mo what what you need to do is to make sure na tama ba yung pagkaka-position mo no baka mamaya nagprint ka na agad ng maramihan uh, kailangan mo pa palang i-adjust yung paper mo no hindi pa pala tama yung positioning okay next one is the loading no loading the machine with inks and making sure that the colors are produced correctly okay next one is maintaining no which is maintaining uh, quality checks during the running of the press okay then uh, no looking out for problems no such as baka mamaya mayroong mayroong paper jams no to avoid machine downtown downtime no kasi kung nagkaroon ng paper jams baka maabala yung yung gagawin yung printing no lalo na if you have the quota to print uh, or to produce the, this this number for that day no and uh no of course the routine maintenance and cleaning of the press okay so these are some of the you know, the you know, the processes you no know, that we are doing or the tasks uh, that we are doing on the actual um printing okay then the last step is the the post press okay and Post press, it is a crucial part of any printing process. 
and takes place after the actual printing. It helps determine the final look, shape, and feel of the printed product. Or the printed material. Okay? So itong post press naman na ito, no, it is a vital phase of the, the printing process. No, as it determines uh, yung final look no or the final shape no and the uh, uh, the final feel no of your product it includes a uh, bindery no that can provide uh, let's say saddle stitching or, or other popular binding methods no and then folding needed for the printed material so later on uh, i'll show you the different examples nitong mga tinatawag natin na, na mga saddle stitching na to no, or the the binding oh, or the folding methods Okay, um, itong uh, post press na ito, okay, it, it, it is consists of uh, several sub-processes, okay, that are implemented depending upon the type of the project na gagawin nyo or ipiprint ninyo, okay, and, and uh, of course, the job the being handled, okay, uh, but here, um, some of the basic types of the, the post press operations um, in the printing industry, no, so I'll show you the, the different, um, where is that? Ayan. Okay. No? So these are uh, some of the basic types of post-press uh, operations in printing. No? In printing industry, which, is our, which are often used no? uh, as follows. No? As you can see on the illustration, no? these are the basic types. Okay, so we have the cutting, the folding, the assembling, and the binding. Okay, so the first one, no, the, the first one is the cutting. Okay, now this is one of the most uh, common operations of, of post-press, now which is used in almost all projects. Okay, um, for this purpose, now the device or tools that we are using no for cutting is meron tayong tinatawag na meron tayong meron tayong mga cutting paper okay yung ginaganon or you can just use the scissor let's say hindi naman ganun karamihan no or kapag medyo mal ma malakihan or medyo malaki now we are using the the cutting paper no and there are types of printed materials no uh, kasi there are, are types of uh, printed materials no that we need to cut no or putulin then for those na maramihan or let's say malakihang printing press na hindi kaya ng gunting, hindi kaya ng cutter, or hindi kaya ng cutting uh, no, ng cutting paper, no or cutting plate. Um we are using um special machines, no? There are special ma uh, machines used for cutting uh, large substrates, no, of web type into uh, different sheets, no, or pages. Okay? No na kung saan no these machines uh it differs in sizes no may mga kanya-kanya silang laki depende sa need no uh features abilities capacities and uh, of course no configurations kasi syempre yung mga malakihan or yung mga yamang malalaki ang printing company talaga they need uh that cutting machines no um uh, para mas mabilis yung kanilang trabaho okay because uh they are and, and th those machines no are built for um individual purposes depending on the, the need no of the printing job okay after the cutting we have the folding okay so the next one is the folding okay this activity naman no this folding is performed uh, mostly in in printing workshops or in printing press no for let's say yung mga pamphlets uh, mga magazines no product uh, boxes no na kung saan there are mainly uh, three types of folders use or folders na ginagamit um, in in print shops no meron tayong tinatawag na bone folder okay meron tayong tinatawag na knife folder meron tayong tinatawag na buckle folder Okay, na tinawag siya na folder kasi it's um um it is a tool used to fold, no? A, a tool used to fold, so folder. Okay, hindi ito yung ano, hindi ito yung folder ni yung papel na pinaglalagyan natin ng files or papers, no? These tools are are uh, are used to fold, 
no? The folders are used to fold the printed output. Okay? So meron tayong uh, bone folder. Okay? Now the the first one, ito itong bone folder na ito, um it is one of the oldest among other types of folders na no, kung saan there are uh, uh, this uh, bone folders are made no either from the name itself either from the bones or plastic okay and today they are used occasionally not only for high quality jobs no so basically um let to show you what is uh, this bone folder and how it is used no i'll show you this video okay hold on Share sound. Share audio. Share. Okay. I want to introduce you to a little tool called a bone folder. And if you're not familiar with it, you'll soon understand why you need it. It was traditionally more of a bookbinding tool and something that was really only known amongst bookbinders and book restorers. But now with the swelling of crafts and Martha Stewart and so forth, you can really find a bone folder in most craft stores. Some of them are made out of recycled cow bone, some of them are made out of Teflon, and some are even made out of plastic. A bone folder is gonna do a couple of things. It'll allow you to score your paper, it'll allow you to really crease your folds, and you can even use it to help you rip paper in half. This is cardstock, really heavyweight paper. And if I just fold cardstock without using my bone folder and scoring, I can often get a very cracked and ripple fold. And some papers will be much worse than this. You'll actually get cracking on the edge. This one's somewhere in between. It's pretty ugly, but it's not a terrible crack. That's without my bone folder. Now what a bone folder allows you to do is score and fold really cleanly. So I'm just eyeballing the center of this. I'm gonna run my bone folder just along the ruler to create a score line. And you'll see it in the paper. And you don't wanna fold this way where we've made the score. You actually wanna fold the opposite direction. And you'll see that the fold will just nicely appear right on that line. And then I can take my bone folder and just using the side of it, the long side of it instead of the tip, will just really nicely crease that fold. And we get something that's really clean and really nice compared to this, which is a little bit clunky and you potentially can really crack, especially if you're using a coated paper. Now, something that you might also want to do is tear a sheet of paper in half. And traditionally, you would just fold it and try to tear it, but often you get little divots and you can easily tear it off your center line. So again, I can score. This time I might want to do a couple scores, especially if you're working with a really thick paper. Remember I fold out and I can really bone that fold. And this will allow me to make a really nice clean tear. With a text weight paper, of course we can make a fold very easily. This is a lighter weight paper. But to get that really crisp fold, especially if you're making something like accordion books or you're working with something that has a lot of folds, it's nice just to use your bone folder to get a really even, clean fold there. You can also use bone folders for pressing out. Let's say you had glued the back of this for bookmaking. You can use it to very carefully get out any air bubbles and you can use it 
in small details to kind of burnish. You can use this for image transfers and things as well. You'll discover that this is a really handy tool for a lot of purposes, not just for folding and scoring. All right. Okay. Now, so that is how uh, no, the the bone uh, the bone folder works. Okay. Where's my scan? No. Okay. No. So nakita natin kung paano ginagamit yung uh, yung uh, bone folder no for folding no the, the printed material. Kasi may mga printed out po tayo that we need to fold it no. Let's say yung mga invitation cards, uh, yung mga pamphlets, no yung mga brochures, okay? No. So ginagamitan natin ng bone folder. Okay? So aside from the bone folder, meron din tayong tinatawag na knife folder. Okay? Now uh, this knife folder no uh it uses knife uh to force the paper getting into the roller naman for folding okay now this knife folder is just no the same with 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 how we are using the the bone folder no the only do difference of the knife folder w with the bone folder is kung 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 yung bone folder is gawa siya sa ano sa, sa bone no, or plastic no the knife folder coming from the name itself is gawa siya sa knife Okay, now, I think it's obvious the man based from the name itself, no? The knife folder is made out of a knife. Okay, itong itong knife na to, uh, it is nakafold lang naman siya. Then if in case you need the sharp edges niya of the knife, then dun mo siya iya unfold. No, then you will use the sharp edges, especially sa mga maka, medyo makakapal na na paper. Okay, you you need to 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 use the knife folder instead of the the bone folder. Okay, now the next one is the buckle folder. Okay. Um the itong buckle folder naman na ito, no, it will convert a sheet into a buckle uh, so as to pass it between the the two running rollers. Okay? Itong buckle folder naman na ito, technically this is a folding machine, no, na ginagamit talaga for uh, maramihan or malakihang uh, pagfold, no, ng printed media. No, so basically this is an operated machine that is being used for bulk folding of the the printed outputs. Okay? So after folding, so we are done with the cutting with the folding. The next one is assembling. Okay? That is the next uh type of post press operations. Okay? Itong tinatawag natin na assembling. Now from the word assemble meaning to gather together. Okay? In in uh in assembly, no there are three no main step which uh, should be followed no which is in assembling meron tayong ginagawang gathering meron tayong ginagawang collating and inserting na pag sinabi nating gathering no it is a method of placing bunch of uh, sheets of uh, paper uh, one after another okay this is done for uh, let's say for assembling books no with page thickness na medyo makapal let's say it range from 3 to, to 8 inches no syempre we, we are we need no to gather those pages together then the next one is the collating no collating is a process of gathering um individual sheets of paper no instead of bunch of papers okay then the last step will be inserting okay uh inserting is um uh pag sinabi nating inserting it is the process of of uh, let's say may mga combining signatures tayo no or bunch of papers uh, na kailangan nating insert no onto one another or one into another okay inserting is done for the papers with with signature pieces no having final thickness um uh, let's say less than uh, a half inch okay then after the assembling meron tayong tinatawag na binding okay the last but not the least type of post press operation is the binding okay in this category no the printed material no or pages are are stick together okay um let's say magpapa diba diba nagpapa binding tayo sa teresa like, gumawa tayo ng research or something ipapa bind natin no normally there are four 
uh, four common binding techniques no ang pwede mong pagpilian no let's say magpapabind ka tapos ng kaanong bind okay so there are four uh, common uh, binding techniques no ang pwede mong uh, piliin no ang pwede mong ipagawa no kasi there are four different uh, common binding techniques no which are used in 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 binding so we have the case binding okay we have the perfect binding we have the saddle binding the comb or spiral uh binding okay so i'll show you no each each type uh picture <laughs> okay so the first one is yung tinatawag natin na case binding okay this one the case binding okay um this case finding binding no is also known as the hard cover binding no uh case binding is tinatawag din natin siya na hard cover binding okay this is by far no the best uh binding technique no na pwede mong piliin no kasi di ba uh, uh in fact no if you notice all major books uh were hard bound no basically uh basically the, the inside pages are attached together no in sections and then then those sections of of attach uh together pages are then uh, ginuglu siya no to the end of to the end papers uh which are finally glued to the cover spine okay na kung saan uh ang ang na kung saan ang isang case bind na material or book no nakapag binuksan mo it lay flat on the table no katulad nitong example picture no na nakikita natin ngayon okay uh this is how the case binding or hand cover binding output looks like okay so ito normally ginagamit to ginagawa to sa mga books okay the next one is after the case binding is the perfect binding okay this one the perfect binding okay ah uh, itong perfect binding naman na ito um, ito naman ang kilala natin or tinatawag natin na, na soft binding. Okay? Perfect binding is also known as the soft cover binding. Okay? Itong perfect binding na ito, it uses a cover uh, which is made from, uh, let's say, a heavyweight cardstock paper uh, that is often coated or laminated to protect the book. No? In this type of binding, the cover or are, are, are the, uh, the cover no, or the inside and the uh, inside pages are glued together no with a super strong glue no often yung yung cover niya is longer longer than the the pages no so the cover is trimmed to give it a perfect look okay so i'll show you no, an example of that yan kung ito yung ano kung ito yung um, example no ng case binding no ito naman ang tinatawag or case binding or tinatawag din natin na uh, hard cover Ito naman ang tinatawag natin na soft cover binding or the perfect binding. Okay? So the cover and the pages are glued together, no, with with uh, with a glue. Then that's it. It's binded together. Okay? Ito yung tinatawag natin na perfect binding. Okay? The next one is the saddle stitch binding. Okay? Saddle stitch binding. Um ito itong saddle stitch binding naman na ito no this is a type of binding <clears throat> no this is a type of of binding na usually uh, ginagamit sa mga small number of pages no not unlike the books or makakapal or maramihang pages no uh na na, na need to use the the perfect and and uh the case binding type dito sa saddle stitch binding no it uses it's either uh tatahiin no or it will use a metal staples or or stapler no to 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 stitch the the pages together okay in a saddle stitch binding no pwede mo siyang gawin with or without a cover na hindi katulad ng uh, ng case binding and perfect binding na kailangan mayroong cover talaga which is it's either a hard cover or a soft cover Okay, dito sa saddle stitching naman, it's your choice or pwede mo siyang gawin na i-stitch together mo lang yung pages, staple to, uh, together yung pages, it can be done with a cover, no, or, or kahit walang cover. Okay, uh, and the saddle stitch binding is a very popular 
uh, because of its easy binding method. No, na kung saan da, the pages are just folded, then stapled together. No, and usually, ito yung ginagamit sa mga magazine. I'll show you the example. Uh, normally, ito yung ginagamit sa mga, ayan, normally, ito yung ginagamit sa mga magazines, no, different types of advertising material, uh, brochures, catalogs, no? So, this is how we do the the, the saddle uh, stitch binding. So, as you can see here, na naka-fold lang siya, then it's either ito nakatahe or naka-staple. Okay? Kasi konting pages lang din naman siya. Okay? So, that is the saddle stitch binding. Okay? The next one is the um, the comb or spiral binding. Okay? This uh, binding technique are commonly used now when binding a short-run books or nakikita natin sa mga notebooks, no? And this is also known as the the wire binding. No, or minsan tinatawag natin siya na spring. Okay? Noon ako saan in this uh, binding method, okay, what you will do is you will punch um, smaller holes sa gilid ng paper. Okay? Then you will use a comb threading or a metal or a plastic coil no that is uh, threaded no through 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 that holes no na binut di ba kasi bubutasin natin ipapasok natin doon okay so that is the uh, comb spiral binding so i'll show you the picture okay so this one okay so this is how it looks like no usually this binding method is ito yung ginagamit sa mga calendars no sa mga uh, cookbooks, mga music books, training manuals, no writing pads, no steno notebooks, sales documents, okay? Uh, that is the the comb uh, spiral binding. Okay? So so far, no that is the the process or that is the the steps, okay, of the the printing, okay? Uh, which um no uh, the process or the steps involved in the print production in which each steps or each process you no know, shares an equally important function you not know, to come up with or to produce a quality printed material okay so which is on our on, on your learning journey with the print production um uh, currently you no know, i'm drafting an activity for you to learn uh, the next phase you know, of print production which is all about uh, the designing stage Okay, so we're done with the discussions of what is the, the print printing, what are the, the methods used, what are the different types, what is the steps in print printing. So we're ready to proceed with our next discussion, which is we're going to, to, to move forward with creating designs. Okay, so currently I'm drafting an activity you know, for you to learn or for you to gain knowledge on how we are doing the, the designing. Okay, kasi itong, itong uh, print production na to, if we become an educator, we can use it you know, with, with, uh, with the teaching materials you know, that we will use. That's why we also need to learn uh, not only the, the processes you know, for, for how we can print uh, or a, a printed output, you know, we also need to, to, to learn how to, to prepare kasi diba, we have the, the printing process. We have the pre-press, we have the press, and we have the post-press. Okay, so on, on the pre-press, no, it includes the designing aspect. Okay, that's why on, on our next lecture, expect that we will learn or our lecture is all about designing. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you. And uh, uh, in order for me to assess or in order for, for me to check that you are done watching this lecture video, uh, please comment down your last name. And um, if you have question, if you have comments, you can write it down, okay? Ayan, so naglalo ko na yung internet ko. So, thank you.